Hello everyone, it is none other than I, the Super Blue Badger, and I welcome you to Capcom's publication of Devil May Cry 3. Dante's Awakening Special Edition. The PC port. Yes, the terrible, terrible PC port. But that's okay, because the gameplay is still very solid. It's a beautiful fucking ass action hack and slash heat, whatever motherfucker you want to call it. And I have had too much tea today. Regardless of this, this game was released in 2005 for the PS2 in Japan, and in 2006, I believe, it was also released for the Special Edition on PC. And this port is terrible. There is no anti-aliasing, there is no resolution option other than the one that you're given, no widescreen support, absolutely nothing. See, seriously, I'll go into the options and I'll show you. This is all you get. And there's barely any keyboard support. The gamepad is pretty uh, dysfunctional. You can't use the D-pad. And just seriously, there is no other resolution than 640x480. This is ridiculous. But then again, this was in a prime time of when the, um, well, the ports were coming to the PC nation. And they really did a half assed job of it because it was done by Ubisoft. And Ubisoft are terrible at game ports. They, I don't know why they did this. This was terrible. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about Devil May Cry. It is the prequel to the Devil May Cry series, much like Metal Gear Solid 3 was to the, to the franchise. And in the special edition, you also have the option to play as Dante's brother Virgil, as you can see in the blue suit on the left. Dante being the man on the right with the twin pistols, Ebony and Ivory. And there is a lot to this game, and I fucking love it. The stylishness of it all, which is beautiful. I don't know, it's, it, the storyline is pretty basic, it's pretty cool. Don't really know what else to say about it, though. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as time goes on. And just really, do you like hack and slash and demons and cutting up face and hauling ass and taking no names? Then really, you want to play Dante's Awakening, motherfucker. In Japan, it was just called Devil May Cry 3 for some reason. Dante's Awakening, I suppose, was for the Western-speaking audience because of the fact that we're too stupid to figure out that this is a prequel. But regardless of that, we'll be playing normal with the tutorial off because I'll be t have enough time to tell about the game myself and we'll be playing on gold mode because yellow is the original difficulty because you would have to start a level all over again if you died at any point during the game and devil may cry 3 is renowned for its hardness let me tell you about this son and let's just see how it goes because this game it's pretty fucking tough anyway let's adios into the world of devil may cry 3